Hi guys, it's Rachel here and I am back with Roxy's Weekly Challenge. And today I'm going to be making some different um, window envelope, so recycling window envelope flips. So I ha we receive a lot of these um, types of envelopes. So um, I'm just going to... Oh, I need to put my timer on just a minute. There we go, it's on. 45 minutes, see how many we can get done. I might start off with three and then see what happens. So, and as I cut, there's so many things popping to my mind. So I need to cut that. I haven't made any of these before, but I kind of had the idea. Yeah, I'm keeping that and then I need to cut this off. I'll keep that for something else to recycle it all. And then I'm going to fold up here like so. I know it's going over my window, but then I will fold it back down. And then I want to fold in, it's about a centimeter, about probably half an inch or quarter of an inch, half an inch probably folded in because that's going to be my flip. And then I'm just going to cut this at an angle up there. And actually I'll cut that slightly at an angle, very slightly. And then at an angle there. Okay, so that's my preparation. So I've got that one I already prepared, so we won't count like we won't count that. We'll prepare three anyway. off like you could leave that on if you want it to be wider I don't want it to be too wide so um, for what I'm using it for so that's why I'm cutting it off so you can adjust your me measurements to your liking this one are oh, you know I fold it up higher Cutting it at a slight angle. And I'll just cut those bits off because they might get in my way. So how's everybody going? I hope you're having, or well, you had a great weekend. And um, I think we're due for a little bit of rain, but no snow. Just snip that off. So Anne's, um, Anne's tag this week is X's. So I don't think I can make a booby with those. So I hope I won't make a booby with those ones to, this week. I don't think so. I think I can manage an X. Like I'm not going to confuse it for anything else but an X. Okay. Hold this. You're probably thinking, what is she doing today? She's just a cray cray person. Very slightly at an angle. Okay, now put that there. I'm going to actually fold that down. Now, the reason why I left it long is because I'm going to fold it down so it's reinforced. I folded it a little bit too much. I want it to kind of almost be flush with the... That's better. Well, it's not flush, but that's better. Okay, so that's going to be glued down. That one. 
and I'll do the fourth one as well. Might as well while I'm here. That's that one. I know you're wondering what I'm doing, but I'll get there. And that's that one. Okay. Okay, so the first thing I want to do, I think, is cover this bit here, except for the window. I probably need to use a better glue there because there's the acetate. Um, and I could afterwards go and stitch around that if I wanted to, just to make sure whatever I glue down sticks. So I pulled out papers. I've got papers galore here. Um, not pulled them out. They're in their plastic sleeves, but... Um, now, do I need this one? This is all extra. No, these were large extra journal card bits. I've got those. I want a book page and music paper, I think. Or scripty things as well. So what I want to do is... And actually, I could fold... I could fold that one around. I do that. I'm going to have it just be gluing over that bit there and I could fold it over yes I will do that and put everything on the floor I might use my Josho glue Josho it's just a slightly stronger glue than the um, Prit although the Prit's pretty good seems to be pretty good but this one is stronger and I'm going to stick that there and then flip it over. That's just to cover the edge there. Really, this is really just an experiment. I probably should have done it. Probably should have done a prototype, but this is really just an experiment. Okay, so that's that. Then I need, I've got some strips here that I've been hanging on to. These are a few strips of Medieval Mirage and that's my um, coffee dyed paper. So I can use either side depending what goes best. And I think maybe that would be nice there. Yes, so let's rip that. And I might just tear that bit off. So I don't actually need it to be that long. And I'm just going to put that one from there to there. To here, really. I don't need any more than that. And that one can have the regular glue. Okay, so slide that up there. All right. I should focus on one side, shouldn't I? Mm glue on there so I think I will rip it okay now I'm going to use the other glue again It's got a glue on the acetate. Okay, and that's going to attach down on the page like that. So I do need to cover that little bit down there as well. 
I might just stick this piece across there. I think it was that way. And I'm just going to put a little piece of paper across here just to make sure you can't see um, that there. Oh, and I haven't done that bit up there either. I'm going to glue this down. Okay, and that's going to be a pocket. Right, so let's just... do that side let's just do these ones as well I'll put some of this paper here again So nothing very exciting has been happening, so not too much to, to tell. to trim it off there because that can just glue down onto the book page onto a page in a journal and that's fine and then we need could even have that one there I'll work on two at a time so that way if I run out of time I haven't got too many on the go and then we know how many I've done because sometimes I'm more ambitious and prepare more than what I can actually do oh it's upside down isn't it I glued it on the wrong side it's okay the writing will go around the other side And then here I can have this piece. It's a good way to use up your scraps when you have to collage around a window. Put that one like that. Oh, maybe I like this side. Oh yes, that side. So again, this is a scrap of medieval mirage paper. Okay, and then I want to put a piece. I shouldn't cover up my garbage basket. 
that gets me. And I have pieces of paper flying everywhere. Put that one over there. Okay, I need... Maybe I'll use this one. Just a piece of this to go across here. Be that see it's just a peekaboo of that paper and we'll do this one. I oh, know I said I was working on two at a time didn't I? <laughs> okay right so I need a little piece to go across there and actually I'll just fold that over the top. So I'm not missing about with resizing it. shame because I don't think it'll reach right around to the other one no but I can then I can just put a little something there so I'll grab another piece See, this is where you can mass produce because you could do this for all of them instead of just one. That one's going to reach. Oh, great. That one reached. Perfect. So if you can have it fold right over, that's really good. That one didn't. So let me just put this on this one as well. Might as well. So that's going to go on there. That one reaches as well. Good. Okay, so that's done. And then, so that's those. I can probably prepare another one, I think. So that's that one. So let's do this one. And if you use a similar formula, then it um, makes you go even faster. So I think I'll put, I like this old book page. So I'll put this on again. And it's got a lot of glue on it. Hold it. Tight, okay. Measure it. That there, like that. Just making it. I did it, cut it too thin. What I can do here is just trim off that little bit there. stuck to my finger oh my goodness okay glue this one shut and trim that little bit off there okay Okay, I have this nice piece here that I'll use over there. So here I'm going to use again, maybe some music paper.
see if this will fit. Oh, yeah, that's good. So that one can just go down there. Here I'm just going to put some of that paper in here. Okay. Right, so that side's done. Now I need to do here and here. So do this side. Now this bit here... I'll just have paper just going over it because that's going to attach to whatever journal. So now I need to find some decorative papers. Where have I? I've got them over here. I've got to find them. My ring light shining in my eye. Sorry, I'll just move it. Okay, let's see what's in here. Quite a lot of pieces in. Oh, look at all of that. Let's see if we can use up some scraps. I think I can see some more in here. Okay. Right. So I think I would even like a piece of that shooting down there. And it doesn't need to be too wide just to there actually I might not even wrap it around because it'll make it very thick but I've got to be no I don't want that to um, go over the acetate okay so I'll glue that one on And then I think I might grab my patterned papers as well, here they are, because we'll have something pretty shooting across there. It's going the wrong direction. Um, love that. No, oh wait, just a minute, I know what I've got here somewhere. I've got some script. I'll have some script. Yep, that's what it's going to be. So, so 
So obviously if you did it with, um, you know, like a craft envelope or the, I've got these, some of these tea dyed, but they're in a box and I haven't pulled them out. And I just, I had all this mail that sometimes like, you know, our bills get taken out automatically, but I, so I don't bother opening the mail because <laughs> it's just a, a printed copy of what we've already paid. And so, um, they just sit there. So then the other day I just, um, open them all and um, and so then I ended up with all these envelopes so now I'm just going to actually run some glue even this glue will do down the two sides here because this is going to be a pocket So that's that let's just get where are the other ones here well let's get those done well this one can have that another piece of that there as well so if i put it there i can see and i can tear it but first i'll put my little strip down the side Isn't that pretty? But that's too too wide. That's nice. Um, oh wait, now this one might fit. What's that? Which way does it go? That way. Hmm. Quite like that. Tiny, tiny bit more off. So here, I'm just going to trim that little piece off there. Glue this one across the bottom. I've dirtied my window there, but I'll just give that, I can just give that a little clean, I think, with a bit of um, Windex or something like that. And then here, so I've accidentally trimmed that, so I might need to do a little repair. I'll put some of this book page because it's thin. So to repair that, just put your piece of paper there glue it down really well and then I'm going to run my glue down the side okay so that's that one we'll do this one quickly and then we need to do um, the reverse side and maybe see if there's something that needs to be put on there. Take that page. Here we go. Oh, this. This might be perfect. Oh, it's perfect. Oh, and I need a little piece across there as well. Well, we can have. Yeah. 
howling kids. We've got howling kids today, but the dogs are quiet. So there we go. Okay, and then I need a piece across the bottom. And what will I use? Maybe this one, or no, that one's not big enough. No, maybe I want some script. Where's my script? I pulled it out. I don't know where I've put it. out I might need those okay and these are in my one of my ephemera my ephemera kits these pieces of letter that I've got have this piece here did I tear that that'll do okay because we've got to get cracking I'm sorry I'm so quiet today honestly it's just, it's just a just a very relaxing, quiet day. I'm just having a quiet day. And I've been cold all day. I took Lily to school and I just couldn't get warm all day. I don't know why. It wasn't even that cold. I mean, it was cold this morning. It was minus two. But um, it's up to seven. But I just can't seem to warm up today. Okay, so that's that. Now we've got to glue this one down. I'm definitely going to make more of these, I think. Glue that there. Now I need to put a nice paper here. I definitely wanted to put this one. Do I want it on that one? And that one. This one, I think. So I just need to tear that. Just a minute. I need to lose a bit on that side. Just a little bit. Okay, I can see where to do that one. Now, I'm not racing, as you can see, because it's not really a race. The time the time limit's just a bit of fun to see how much I can do, but it's not... Um, I don't pressure myself. It's not like when I did the 3 and 30... the goal of that one was um, am I just about to stick it on the wrong one the goal of that one was to um, you know get a certain amount done in three minutes whereas this is just to see how many will I get done in that, that amount of time okay so that's that and then that's going to fold like so and then it's going to stick down on a page so just say this was my page for example to say it's folded you can you can have it go over the other side in which case you'd have to decorate that part but you just glue it down on there and then it flips and it's like that and it's got a pocket so you create a tag to go in there um, 
for example I don't know you might have this create make this into a, a tag or something and then that will sit in the pocket and then you, in theory you could see the bird or the writing or whatever you like that was what my thought was or for example here you could create the tag and you'd be able to see the flowers or the birds and the embroidery but then when you take it out you can see the page I have to clean that I'll just clean that with a damp cloth but I need to put something else on here and I'm just wondering whether I might like one of these I'm faffing about here but I might as well finish it before I finish the next one You don't mind that or what else do I'm not rushing am I just taking my time take your time Rachel don't hurry I think all my little bits are not in here See, for example, this could be a tag behind. Isn't that pretty? I like that. Maybe. Ah, oh, here we go. Here's some things. They're all too big. Or not the right style. These ones I've, I've already torn. Or something like that. Ooh. Okay. Got those. They're more in the style, I think. So, um, I could shoot that one up the side and have... I know it covers up most of... But I like that. That's what's going to happen on that one. Sometimes you do end up having, covering a lot of what you've put down. It's just whatever works. Because you're the boss of your own job. Whatever you're doing. So that's going to go there. I like that. And this one. Up the side. Good, so that's done. I don't think I'll put anything on there. Okay, so one is done. The next is this one. And let's have a look at one of these. Oh, ripped it. Oh, it doesn't matter. mind it I want to keep the embroidery just taking a little bit more off the background looks like it's almost part of the paper I think I'll put that there
Okay, and then here we need to have a paper on that side. of this what's on that yes that'll be nice so we'll do a piece of this So there's my pocket there, I'll just show you. It's a bit wet, that's my pocket. So that, like for example, that could be a tag that goes in there. So that one's done. I could add a little, um, some sort of label there if I wanted to. Here I am mucking about, I've only got a few minutes left. So yeah, something like that would finish it off. Need to give my scissors a clean. I really wanted to do these during the week um but i thought no this is what my challenge is supposed to be so i've got to wait so i resisted and waited to do them so that one's done and now we've just got to finish off this one we need a piece of paper here um so we'll choose something different what's the front look like so we could have if you want some maybe some yeah blue would be nice okay Plenty of time. Plenty, plenty, plenty. Okay, so put that there. See, that little piece is perfect for up there, so for another one. So I'll keep that. I think I've got one more to do, but I'll do that. I'll do that off screen and then I'll put it. Um, I'll put it in the. Um, You know, I'll put a photograph at the end. That's what I want to say. So that's that one. And again, here we could have something just to decorate it. Okay, that's that one. And then I'm just going to see quickly if I want to put something on the front. I thought I pulled out another yellow flower, but I can't see it. I think I'll put that there. All 
Oh, there we go. Just made it. I was going to put it there. Um, female. Okay. Okay. So they are done. I got three done. Then my pockets. That glues down onto the page and it flips and it's got the pocket here. And as I said, you can see the page underneath. So this might be my page. And that's what you can see. Or you can put it and wrap it around and then cover that bit there. Or because we've got our paper going right to the edge here, um, sorry, you can attach it there if you want to, like so, and then have it go like that. I think that's super pretty. So there we go. So we did three. Got a bit of yellow there, but I mean, you could stick a bit of washi tape or some other paper there. I just don't want it to, I didn't want it to thicken up too much. There's that one, and then the other one, and that's the back, and then that's that one. I think they're so pretty, I really like these. And that one will go like that. So there we go. So I will photograph those and um, keep them fairly simple. They're like, you could stick a flower up there if you wanted to, or like a um you know like one of these sort of bordery sort of things could have a little teeny tiny butterfly there or keep it simple have your tag in there if you want to or not so there we go so i hope you enjoyed that good way to recycle those envelopes that come in the mail the junk mail and um yeah so that's my video for my challenge this week. I hope you enjoyed it and I will see you again soon. Bye.